Muriatic acid can be used to lower your pool's alkalinity, lower your pH, and keep your pool filters and surfaces clean. But adding an acid to your pool can be dangerous if it's not done safely. So here's a quick guide on how to safely add muriatic acid to your pool. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, what is muriatic acid used for in pools? Well, number one, it brings down high alkalinity and high pH. Adding muriatic acid to your water will lower the total alkalinity and pH in your pool. Just keep in mind that it may decrease at different rates. And while this is really effective at bringing these levels down, pH decreaser or dry acid are much safer to handle compared to muriatic acid. Number two, it cleans cartridge filters and DE filters. So if you have a cartridge filter, you can use muriatic acid to deep clean the filter medium and remove residue that builds up inside the pleats. It's also very effective at cleaning calcium scale deposits off DE filter grids. Number three, it removes pool surface stains. However, muriatic acid can cause corrosion and discolor your plaster. So be sure to spot test it on smaller pool surface areas first. Okay, so how do I handle muriatic acid safely? Because it's an acid, it's incredibly important to follow safety measures and use precaution and common sense and read any instructions before handling. Number one, always wear face and skin protection. This includes acid resistant gloves, a respirator, safety goggles, and an acid resistant apron and clothing that covers any exposed skin. And do not inhale the fumes from muriatic acid. Number two, dilute your muriatic acid in water. This means adding muriatic acid slowly and carefully into a bucket that's already full of water. Never add water after the acid, as it could kick up the acid on you. And always use an acid-resistant plastic container. Number three, rinse your muriatic acid bucket thoroughly after every use, and do not use it for any other pool chemicals. You could cause a chemical reaction or explosion. Number four, store muriatic acid in the container that it came in, and always keep it away from other acids and pool chemicals, and never mix chemicals together. Number five, avoid splashing. Don't let any of the acids splash out of the bucket and onto surfaces, clothing, or skin. Keep a hose or water source nearby in case that happens. Okay, here's how to use muriatic acid to lower your pH and alkalinity. Before you start mixing up pool chemicals, you'll need the right safety gear that we mentioned before. You'll also need a five gallon bucket and be sure you're using a pool grade muriatic acid. Step one, test your pH and alkalinity. Lowering these levels with muriatic acid is best done in stages, so plan to retest your water throughout this process. Number two, calculate how much muriatic acid to add. Here are some easy calculations to use based on your pool's volume. You can always add more of muriatic acid later, so start by only adding a quart to a half gallon of muriatic acid at a time, and use less if you have a smaller pool. Step number three, add the muriatic acid to your pool. First, turn off your pool pump and wait until the water stops moving completely and turn off any water features, including aerators and fountains, since this will raise your pH levels. Next, put on your safety gear and dilute the muriatic acid in a bucket of water. The ideal ratio of water to muriatic acid is 10 to one, but always follow the manufacturer's instructions. Start by adding the water to an acid resistant bucket, then add the appropriate ratio of acid. Remember, always add water to your bucket first, not acid. If you fill up your five gallon bucket halfway with water, a quart of muriatic acid would make it a 10 to one ratio. Then start by pouring the muriatic acid mixture into the deep end of your pool, walking around the perimeter. Be sure to always walk away as you pour so you don't inhale the fumes. Step number four, let the muriatic acid circulate. Turn on your pool pump and let it run for at least five hours before testing your alkalinity and pH again. If you have a multi-port valve in your filter, set it to circulate to help the muriatic acid mix in. Muriatic acid will eat into your pool floor if you leave it to settle. If you don't circulate it with your filter, you need to constantly brush the pool floor to prevent the acid from doing damage. Step number five, retest your pool water. Retest your water after about five hours. You should notice a difference in your pH and alkalinity. If they still need lowering, add another dose of muriatic acid. And keep testing and adding muriatic acid in doses of a half gallon or less, repeating as many times as necessary to get the pH and alkalinity down. It's not unusual for it to take a couple of doses. Step number six, aerate your pool if necessary. If your pH dipped too low in the process, but your alkalinity is now within range, you can aerate your water. 
Adding air is a natural way to raise your pH without having to use chemicals. To aerate, turn your return jets upwards and turn your pool pump on its highest setting. And turn on any water features you have as well, like an aerator or a fountain. Then, check your pH level again in another day to see if it's risen up to the normal pH levels. If the pH still needs to be increased significantly, add pH increaser. Just be sure to add a little bit at a time. If you need more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.